Hello, greetings, my friends. This is Gilles. I wanted to come and wish you a wonderful day. I, I've just been running under the rain. Now it's cleared up, but um, I'm going to go change and get ready. But I wanted to, to rebound on a comment, a video, a message that was done by a friend and brother, whose name is Ashtar. He's an ascended master, a great ascended master, a good friend, who's, who's made this message. I felt it was specially made for me, but I thought I'd rebound on it. And it is about connecting to that matrix of Pablo Picasso. Pablo Picasso is an is, is a, is a energetic matrix. It is a creative model of energy. Everybody can tap into it. It is, it is a manifested genius. It is a new vision, an expansion towards new new possibility. It is open to all. You are Pablo Picasso. You are the expansion of the world through this new possibility. You are that essence, that energy, that connection. Pablo Picasso is an algorithm and it is expanding the light of creation beyond that which man was. It's expanding beyond the box, beyond the conceived notion. It is the creative genius, the, the power of destruction and recreation of the world. And so it, it is a powerful force. It is a quantum field through the quantum field. It is, it is available. It is for, for the, the dynamic of Pablo Picasso. Pablo Picasso needs you just as you need Pablo Picasso to, 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 to create this expansion towards infinity. The ability, uh, um, it is an ability to, that, that all have to, to create an expansion within the un human consciousness, to expand the universe. And, and, and in many senses, uh, you are all and all are you. In parallel reality, we've been all. You can draw on all kinds of energy. You can, you can become anything you want. You have it all. You, you've been it all. You, you've done it all. You've been all. And, and today you want to connect to that, that, that creative genius that, that is Pablo Picasso. So to be a version of Pablo Picasso, Pablo Picasso is a man, it is an idea, it is an energy, it is a consciousness, it is a connection to, to all, sta uh, all sorts of possibility. It is an it is a it is a, an energy uh, uh, an energy uh, work. It's, it's, a, it's a work with energy that is that, that is a dynamic that is the, uh, the dynamic of a creative dynamic that moves towards infinity that expands the universe. It is a powerful influence on the world culture. No matter what you do, you can draw on this creative genius and expand beyond for for a long time. I've been painting for, for 30 years and I, it's a spirit also that always that often comes to me but to, to, to work with me when I paint because I, I do always thought I was, I was as important to the 21st century as Pablo Picasso was in the 20th century for I expanded the, the realm of consciousness through my art although it is not no, yet known to the world the, 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 my spiritual exploration and, and, and the work I've been doing is creating this amazing ex spiritual expansion that will fully be appreciated by the, the, the rest of the community but it is it is a very close energy it is also someone that really influenced me as a child to 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 tune in to become an artist to 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 be interested in in in, in plastic art and visual art for you are Pablo Picasso, you are one, you are the same. Huh? It, is a, it is all parallel life that we're living. Huh? It's like a, it is a vortex for imagination is power and power is imagination. So you can draw in this energy and you connect to this vast ocean of creativity by doing that, by this creating, the, connecting to this quantum matrix of Pablo Picasso. So it may be strange, but Ashtar made this message and I thought that we rebounded on it for, for it is... Um, for it, just to share that, uh, that for, for it is about sharing that, that expansion, sharing that creativity, but it's a force, that, that motion forward for whenever somebody told Picasso, I love what you do, you say, no, well, I'm already doing something else, I move forward, no matter what, I'm not going to stay to fulfill whatever you liked before, what I did, it's, I'm already onto something else, it is a, it is, it's an engine of creation, it expanded the consciousness like no other artist ever done before him, and so he's covered so much ground, it is, uh, Picasso is a about love, it's about the love of creation, the love of destruction, the love of woman. The, it's it's all about this, this connecting to this force of creation, and everybody can draw on this force. And so I, I would sort of share this message. To, to, to rebound on, on this message of, of beloved Ashtar. So this video was, was quite made quite for me. There's a card that escaped. It's a card of celebration. So celebrations are our foot. Celebrations are ahead. Uh, I broke my glasses. As soon as I have a bit of money, I'm going to change them. For I feel like it's better to break a branch than to break a, break a glass. But so. And not wearing glasses, sometimes I feel like my eyes, my eyes are getting better. For there is a regeneration process. Sometimes when you get older, the, the body doesn't get better. <laughs> but, but right now there is, there is this regeneration that is going on. 
So the situation is nothing short of mastery. It is, uh, it is, it is mastery. It is, uh, it is the master. It is the master. We're coming into our mastery. We're coming into our empowerment. And so, so allow that to happen. Understand you, you, you are, you are being a model to, 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 to fulfill this ascension. You cannot escape that God, that God self, that source. It is always been there. It's always, it's never been invasive or intrusive. For it respects free will, and everybody has to come to the alignment and the desire to return to the source. Yet it is, um, it, you cannot escape it eternally. For that's all there is. God was there before, the, before the origin, and, and, and will be there after the destiny. It's the first cause and the final effect. So everything else is just a, a temporal story that we've created for our evolution, our education, our entertainment. What goes around the situation is laziness. So it's okay to be lazy. It's okay to let you. you to, traditionally, this card is about the dream fulfillment, and here it is somebody that achieved all these dreams, and his soul, like now, is lazy. But the life will always push us forward, always move us forward. What we see before us is adventure. We have all kinds of new adventures that will be aligning before us. What we have in our subconscious is innocence. We have cleared up all the all the chakras from the karma. We, we've cleared up all this karma. All this we have moved into a state of innocence instead of purity. We have allowed ourselves to to free ourselves from judgment. Yet there is still things to we will see in, the, in what's coming up is, is kind of contrasted to that. But but we've already been forgiven in truth by the source. And right now, as where we are, we are the source. We are at the, at the source. It is the this creative potential putting our hand on the light. What's coming up next is is the fine is is is, is um, right in the around. Is letting go of the guilt. The guilt and blame and shame is absolutely unnecessary. We have to let go of that huh? uh, because otherwise there is absolutely no need for that. And, and this comes because of morality. We have this, this judgment between right and wrong. We want to judge those things are right, those things are wrong. And so the more we, we are severe in relationship to those things that we consider right or wrong, the more severe life will be, will be in relationship to ourselves. So we want to let go of that principle of morality and see all things as, as love for all his love no matter how distorted and the love will manifest and, and, and make itself known shown once we, we let go of that dual, dualistic principles and then we're going to reach that level of success since the tiger of fear will be mastered and will be able to cross the great ocean for now it is uh, the strength within the situation who we are in this situation is the world of politics there is this dualistic sense of politics but we have to let the, the idea is that uh, politicians are wearing a mask they are like uh, they, they, they show this very happy face and in the, in the back door there is this this very dirty snake so it's about letting dropping the mask letting go of uh, it's addressing not, not judging once again other people but seeing that within ourselves to see that we're wearing a mask and see what is it we're trying to hide behind the mask to forgive ourselves because the, the, and to allow the, the, the intensity of love to, to, to burn everything this divine flame and fire to burn everything that's not in alignment the divine the blue flame or the violet fire and so, uh, because we, we're integrating all kinds of energy from the past, the past will come back as, until it is completely released, integrated, uh, and then we, we, at which point the, 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 the will of great change, the, the, the will of fortune will manifest, will be able to manifest this, this empowerment. Because what comes from us from the outside world is projection. For we all have projections, and people are projecting their own thoughts onto us, but, but they're we, we, wanna, we do not want to if we receive negative energy we do not want to send negative energy back we want to we transmute it into positive and send love back love and understanding, love and light so, so it is uh, for projection is, uh, sometimes we need to project, we need to imagine for imagination is power and, and so Einstein also uh, brought that up uh, and so, um, so so it is this projection that is being projected onto us but we we uh, only god knows really eh? so eventually we're going to have this uh, th there is there is some unfulfilled desires also that is around us uh, that will be fulfilled for there's going to be a rebirth that we're going to see around us and after this rebirth will be happening there's going to be an integration this is all about our environment so everything will be integrated but there is a certain process that needs to to unfold what we see in our hopes and fear is suppression it is about oppression it is this person that's been oppressed by so many uh, heavy weights so we have to let go of the baggages to, to drop to cut the cords to 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 free ourselves from the 
from the, 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 the baggages that are imposed upon us by others, as we do that, we're going to be able to share, to be in the sharing mode, to... to um, very soon I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start a project, but I will also have uh, uh, some funds that I'm going to dedicate to assist all kinds of other projects that are aligned with this mission that I'm going to be doing. And so it's going to be about sharing, for life is all about sharing, it's about uh, what we will receive from the universe, we have to share, the more we share, the more we can receive. And so, so it's a give and take, but it's sharing. And uh, the outcome will be slowing down, we're going to be able to slow down in order to enjoy, to smell the coffee, to, to enjoy the... To enjoy enjoy the garden, the rose garden, to, the more we are able to slow down, the more we'll be able to, for, for when we live in short dimension, we want time to go very, very fast, because we're not really satisfied with time, but when we move into the higher force or lower fifth, di or fifth dimension or above, we want time to slow down so we can enjoy every moment of it, so we're going to be doing that, huh? it's a turtle, the turtle has this wisdom, and so I hope this uh, resonated with you. But no, there is this, those great adventures. Just, just do not, do not blame yourself. To let go of guilt. Let go of the responsibility, so-called responsibility of the world. You got to, got to be patient with the world, eh? and patient with yourself, and patient with others. And so uh, also when I said we, we, we're getting acclimated to the higher frequencies and so we have to get into the relaxing mode in order to, to hear what the source and the guidance is about, is about the more relaxed we are the more we will be able to hear that God source, the more that we'll be able to receive the guidance uh, for meditation is very useful for that. Uh, another, another aspect that is um, another time that is very useful to, to get a guidance Mostly, mostly eh? it's right before you go to sleep and right when you wake up in the morning. For the, 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 the dream state, uh, for a long time when you're unconscious, the dream state is just a training ground where you just process things and you receive dreams that are extremely bizarre, but, but you, it's good to understand them anyway. But, but eventually it becomes a ground where it is a, a means by which to communicate with your higher self. So when you wake up in the morning, you receive all kinds of information from your higher self, and um, which is you in truth, your higher self. Um, and when you go to sleep at night, you release, you bless the day that's been passed and you call on the, the blessings for the next day. Eh? And, and so, uh, in a sense, what we need to do is remove all obstacles that are within our knowledge that we can, that prevents us from connecting to that divine source of light and let go of the resistance of receiving this great gift of, of creation. For when we ask, the, we, we, our, our, our beliefs and desires are creating our reality, and they're always changing and shifting in order to, to, to and they're always in perfect uh, consonance with our uh, resonance with our evolutionary process. Uh, that's why. Uh, but when and, and every time we have a desire, it is like asking the universe, and the universe always responds and say yes, but. Uh, if, if it is a question, sometimes we're so busy trying to figure out our question that we, we, know, we, we don't leave the space to receive the answer. So, so it is when we are receptive mode, where our mind is quiet, that we are able to receive the answer. Or when we ask for something, it is about being in, the, in, in, in a harmonic resonance with the energy of what we've been asking for. When the universe sees that we are ready to receive an experience, it provides it. And, uh, but we cannot stop this ascension uh, individually or collectively, we can slow it down and no forces in the, on the earth will be able to, to prevent the divine plan from being manifested for God is the first cause and the final effect and nobody can stop that decision that was made that God decided that this planet will ascend. This is completely futile to, to, to even envision the possibility that this will fail. For the light of God can never fail. It is unbreakable. It is immortal. It is eternal. It is all powerful. It is it is it is beyond our ability to comprehend. But we have to trust that. And so um, so understand you are you are in the world, but not of it. You you are in you are in this third physical dimension world, but you 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 are no longer. Um, um, part of, you are no longer of it. You're not no longer part of that matrix. You're in the world, but but you are your your energy is, is different than that of the third dimension. Huh? Um, 
and so because God is uh, God is personal, is right? very personal. Although it's, but but the, the, the God self, which is a, a spirit self, is is a pre-personal aspect of God. God is also super personal and impersonal. He goes from simple to complex to individual to collective with great ease. And so, but when you for us it's much more difficult when we don't know something. Just ask your God self to show you. For God knows already everything. How to how to he knows all the all 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 things it's, it's got infinite love but it also possesses infinite wisdom it knows all the means by which to, to achieve anything and so uh, but this pre-personal spirit is a it is it is the it is god man it is it is our own god self that is it's a, it's a, god has, has fragmented his spirit to live within us uh, we for the we do all we we adore this this source but we do not worship that that inner god for we worship the, the primal source of all things worship is like a prayer but but without asking anything just worship is just pure love without having to ask anything but we can always ask god it doesn't cost anything and it's always good to, to learn to pray and so uh, um, and and so we do not want um, we do not want to deny our gift and talents whatever god has given us it is for us to to continue to cultivate and appreciate and, uh, and and if darkness, if darkness or shadows or, or anything dark comes into your mind or your reality, do not give it power. Just acknowledge it, but do not uh, dwell into it. Do not identify with it. Let it pass. It will it will um, it will be uh, easier. But we're learning progressively to to become master of ourselves. To 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 allow to to master our thoughts. To master to be also master of our desire. To master that ego personality. And so uh, I'm going to have to change my glasses whenever I have a bit of money before me and I can see a little bit ahead. I'm going to change those glasses. Um, for all, all will come very soon. Huh? I'm not, um, sometimes I worry a little bit because I, uh, what I've been through, I have to forgive myself for the experience I've been through for those follow my video. It's, it's been completely insane. Uh, but, um, but now I feel like uh, I'm kind of eagerly uh, ready to, to receive the, 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 this great opening, this great uh, festive uh, uh, abundance that is coming. I'm going to sing the love song and then pull one more card. It's a, it's a song to finish. It's a, it's a song that reminds me of my time when I lived in, um, I think I was living in Denver when this song came out. It goes, well, I'm going to be... When I wake up, well, I know I'm going to be, I'm going to be the man who wakes up next to you. When I go out, well, I know I'm going to be, I'm going to be the man who goes along with you. But I would walk 500 miles and I would walk 500 more just to be the man who walked a thousand miles to fall down at your door. When I'm working, yes, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who's working hard for you. And when the money comes in from the work I do, I'll pass almost every penny on to you. When I grow old, well, I hope I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who's growing old with you. But I would walk 500 miles, and I would walk 500 more, just to be the man who walked a thousand miles to fall down at your door. When I'm lonely, well, I know I'm going to be, I'm going to be the man who's lonely without you. When I'm dreaming, well, I know I'm going to dream, I'm going to dream about the time when I'm with you. When I come home, yes, I know I'm going to be, I'm going to be the man who's coming home to you. I'm going to be the man who's coming home to you. But I would walk 500 miles and I would walk 500 more just to be the man who walked a thousand miles to fall down at your door. So, so, 
would walk a thousand miles to, to fall down at your door. <laughs> it's, it's about passion for, for we were created to love one another, to find this, this divine complement, this divine love that we, we can share. For that gives meaning to our essence and reality. For a very long time, I felt like I felt I had to move away from relationship to unfold my inner self. But but it, it doesn't really work. In a sense, we were created to work. Uh, for we can very well function alone. And huh? there are beings that are completely uh, hermits and beings that are achieve their ascension all by themselves. But we, we can also call on for a partner to, to complement us. And so if we have called on that, be ready, be prepared to to call on to 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 assume the responsibility of being your highest version. Before you, before you can attract the perfect, the, the person that will complement you, that will not be perfect. You will not be perfect, but will be the perfect complement for you. You want to, you are, you already want to be your, your highest version of yourself. You want somebody that will, uh, that, that will inspire you to become even better than you are now. And so, uh, and the card, the card of the day is chaos and conflict. It is what we are experiencing now in the world. It is the complete chaos, and uh, it is, uh, it is <coughs> right before order comes. Everything for. For the, the situation was dysfunctional before, and we want to come back into this divine order, but but we cannot make a dysfunctional fun functional. It's not about fixing that. Everything has to be blown apart. Everything is blown apart, and, and then then what, the, all kinds of things will be removed, and everything will fall back into place. So this kind of chaos and conflict is just a, it presumes that that order will soon return once we pass this phase. Huh? So. I hope you, you find this message interesting and thank you very much for everything. I wish you a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. Namaste.